Hello everybody, here we are today and we're going to be talking about the unfortunate and official news now that the Arizona Coyotes are going to be relocating to Utah and this is something that is very painful for Arizona fans as the team had an emotional 5-2 win last night against the Edmonton Oilers. I stayed up to try to watch part of this game and I did and it was great to see the passion but unfortunately this is the end of an era in Arizona for the moment. This comes thanks to in large part not being able to find an NHL caliber stadium. I think that for a long time the NHL was okay with them playing in maybe a subpar stadium, if you will. But then when they moved to Mullet, it became an issue where the can kept getting kicked, and I don't think the league ever saw an end to this. And so with this, the team is being sold to Ryan Smith, the current owner of the Utah Jazz, as well as Real Salt Lake for $1.2 billion. $1 billion of it is going to go to Alex Miruelo, the former owner of the Coyotes, and $200 million is going to go to the NHL itself. And there's an interesting piece in here where Alex is going to get five years to try to get a team back in Arizona, which is giving him also the naming rights, the logo rights, all those things, etc. And this is going to be a very crucial period for this. And I look at this thing and see probably four takeaways from this, probably more, but in the moment, it's just crazy to think this is all happening right now. With the first and most obvious takeaway being that there is going to be no hockey team in the state of Arizona, mind you, I'm talking about the NHL. This could be temporary and it is very frustrating to see after nearly 30 years in the state of Arizona. Like I talked about in a video that I might have done yesterday, it might have been the day before that, either way talking about how the Coyotes made it very difficult for their fans to want to root for this team and to get more casual fans interested. They didn't have a ton of star players, they didn't see a lot of team success, they didn't see a great state-of-the-art stadium, poor ownership and all these things kind of led to where we are today. And I think the one benefit from this is knowing that there is a chance to get this team back. Whether or not you want them to come back, I guess is your opinion as a fan of the club or somebody that lives in Arizona. But there is still the opportunity to bring them back. The second thing is that the state of Utah will be getting a team, an NHL caliber team I should say. And Ryan Smith, the now owner of this side, will be looking at this and seeing opportunity and that's really what it's all about for him he says that he thinks that the sport can grow in this state and utah is suddenly a hot spot for a lot of things talked about how in a recent video the state is possibly looking to get an mlb team i'm not really sure you know i don't focus on the state of utah a whole lot because i live in indiana and i don't know much about it other than that the state is really pretty um, and there is a lot of Mormons there, and that's really about my extent of knowledge there. I guess the Utah Jazz and Real Salt Lake I know are there. But if this sport is to grow in the state, it could see a great period where the state itself is possibly thriving. The third thing is that the league seems dead set on expansion. If the Coyotes are given this exception, saying you have five years to figure it out and find a stadium, I look at that and see 33 teams. Something's really ugly there. 33 is not a great number. It's probably not going to work out super well for scheduling. Maybe I'm wrong, but I see this and see the potential for even more teams. The hockey guy put out a video maybe yesterday talking about what if the league went to 36 teams and had six divisions, six teams per division. That is something that could be thrown out there. I really don't know because we're in uncharted territory for a long time in professional sports. I think in North America especially, 32 teams kind of seemed like the cap. And then all these leagues started to creep up about, hey, maybe we could expand a little bit more. And then you see uh, teams in leagues like baseball and basketball, where they say, well, we'll get the 32. And the NFL is saying, oh, we're tempted to add maybe another team. And I think the NFL's push for more than 32 teams could possibly have sparked this. The NHL themselves have seen a lot of great success with getting these new teams and a lot of money being brought in. If one team is added, there's probably going to be more. And at that point, I would say 34 to 36 is going to be in the near-ish future, like 10 years. And number four is that the Coyotes, if they are going to get a potential new stadium, it could come very soon if the June 27th land bid still goes on with the Coyotes trying to get it. It's still going to occur, but we don't know if Marillo is going to try to actually put in some serious money and get the deal done. If they are able to get that, that could be a really big piece of getting this team back. I'm not as sure about it because I was really skeptical about whether or not the team would be there. So I didn't really read a whole lot into that because I was thinking they were probably going to be going to Utah next season. Um, actually, the season after that, I guess, is what my original thoughts were. But if they're able to win this, then you would say within three to five years, the state of Arizona will be getting a new team. 
if the stadium is going to be built within the timeline. I saw something about three to four years. So within five years, you'd have to imagine that the state of Arizona will be getting the Coyotes or some other version back. I'm not exactly sure what Utah is going to be naming their team. That's, I guess, a whole other takeaway. And it seems like Smith is already trying to figure out exactly what's going to happen there. But I guess it's going to be a whole topic for another period as he's got the fans you know, voting for that. The reality is, though, this is a sad day as the playoffs approach. I already uploaded a hockey video for the playoffs, and I'm not really sure when I'm going to put it out because this is such groundbreaking news, something that hasn't happened since this channel has existed since 2020. And I would like to, again, add my condolences go out to Arizona fans. You knew yesterday was probably going to be the final day. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't announce it yesterday at the game. It just seems like something they would have done. I get a lot of the anger with this team. I don't really know if the players are all going to be thrilled about moving to a new place. It's tough to say. I don't even know if the fans will support this team with current ownership. Um, I think he's better than the Oakland A's owner from what I've heard about him because they don't really follow baseball. At least he's trying to get a team to come back. But with how this was handled and how quickly things fell apart for this side, maybe, who knows, when all this comes out, we'll get a whole lot more knowledge about this happening months in advance. But it seems like probably within the past month and a half-ish, things have started to really get moving here and a lot of traction, and we're going to see how things all work out. I don't think the divisions are going to have to be realigned. I imagine that Utah will play in the Central like the Coyotes did in Arizona. Uh, but we are going to see a lot of things in these coming few months as they're going to be playing in a temporary stadium or where the Jazz play, I think. But I guess I don't really know what to make of all this because it's all just so much in this period. So what are your thoughts on the Coyotes leaving Arizona? Do you think they're going to get a new team back? Do you think that Utah is going to be successful in the NHL? And do you think that there will be more teams in the coming years for expansion? Let me know all those thoughts down below in the comments. Please like this video if you found it more informational than enjoyable. I guess it'd be enjoyable if you're a Utah a fan looking at hockey there, but still just a tough video to make. Everybody, please make sure to stay safe. Have a great night, Nigel of Hockey, all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.